Hi, boys and girls. You know a lot about letters, and we've talked about how some of the letters are called vowels. Well, today we're going to talk about three vowels. Ready? A. It looks silly there, doesn't it? It's the way some machines or typewriters or shouldn't say typewriters, computers would print an A. That's not how we write it, but we have to know what it is, right? A. And what sound would A make? We say A, apple, ah. You're right. Ah is the sound A makes, but A can make another sound. It can say its name. It can say A. So there are going to be some words when we hear the letter A. We hear the ah. Ah is called the short letter A. And A when it says its name, we call that the long letter, the long sound of A, because A ah is quick. A is long. Well, let's talk about this vowel. Oh, you're right. And when we say O, oh, it's O. Oh. Yeah, ah, ah, very good. O, oh, octopus, ah. Ah is the short sound that O makes. Ah. What do you think the long sound is? That's right, it says its name. It says O. Oh. So when we hear words with an O oh in it, we're going to say that's long O. Oh. And this vowel is I. I is I. Like itch. I is its short sound. I. When it says its name, I. That's the long sound. So ready? A says a, ah, short a, a, long a. O says a, ah, short a, o, sorry, short o, o, long o. I says i, short o, and ah. Oh my goodness, Miss Fred's saying it wrong. Miss I says I, short I, and I, long I. Okay, so ready? We're going to tap some words. The first word we're going to tap is mad. When I say mad, you ready? Mad. You're going to tap it now. Mad. Mad. Did you hear a vowel in that word? Where was the vowel? Ooh, we have to stop when we tap the vowel now. And we're going to figure out what that vowel is. M -a. What letter is the vowel? That's right, it's A. If it says M A, is it a long A or a short A? A is short A, that's right. M A D. Mad, short A. What if I say made? Now tap it. Made. M A D. Did you hear a vowel in that word? M A. A is the vowel again. A. It sounds different. M A D. A is the long vowel. Oh my goodness. So we might hear it two different ways. M A D. M A D. We hear all those sounds. Let's try a different vowel. Let's try hope. What vowel do you hear in hope? I hear O. Very good. O. Tap it. Hope. H O P. Hope. Where was the O? In the middle. And is it a long O or a short O? O. It says its name, it's long O. H O P. What if we change that middle sound to a short O? To A. Ah. Try it again. Do, do it with a short O. H A. Ah. What's the new word? Hop. Very good. All right. So one more letter. We're going to do I. Let's do pin. Pin. P in. Pin. The I is in the middle. Is I long O or short? Long I or short I? P I 
That's a short I. Pin. Very good. Let's change the I in pin to a long I. Let's make it say I. Ready? P pine. Pine. It's almost like magic, isn't it? Okay. So this is your job. Get out your erase board. We're going to try to write three words today. Just the three we've been working on, okay? And we're gonna write the short ones because when I uses its, when, when the vowels use their long sounds, they're written a little differently. But that's okay, because we're doing kid writing. So ready, everybody? Can you write pin? Sure we can. First we say it, pin. Then we tap it, p in then pin we write it p in you're not waiting for me are you p in now if you want to do it all by yourself stop the video because i'm going to show you the end be brave stop it do it and then turn it on to see how i did ready p, well, p is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line and you pull down to the worm line. You trace back up to the plain line and go around on the grass line. P I. That is a short I. Starts on the plain line and pulls down to the grass line. Dot. P I N. N. N is a plain line letter. Starts on the plain line and pulls down to the grass. Then you trace back up and make your bump. P in. Is that what you did? That's right. Good for you. P in. That is our short letter I. If someone wanted to write pine, they would have a long I. Let's try another one. Our next word we're going to work on is mad. Ready to tap mad? Mad, right? Because first we say it, you're saying it, right? Where is Lips the fish? Did he fall somewhere? We need him. Got to say it. Don't let me do all the work. Ready? Here we go, Lips. Oh, he's still wearing his Valentine hat. Mad. Now we tap it. M-ad. Mad. Now we write it. I like to tap it on the paper too. M add. It's going to be three letters. Go ahead. Turn off the video. Try. Then turn it on and see how you did. Ready? M add. M. That's M. M is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. You pull down to the grass and trace back up to make the bump. Trace back up to make the bump. M add. A is the short letter A sound. A starts on the plain line and goes back and around on the grass all the way up to the plain line and pull straight down. M add. D. D is D. D starts on the plain line. Goes around just like A did to the grass. And it goes all the way back up like A did, but this time all the way to the skyline. And pull down. Mad. Mad. Super. We're going to do one more. I hope you're practicing your lowercase letters. You can always go back. We are going to do the word hop. First we say it. Hop. Then we tap it. Hop. Hop. Then we write it. Hop. Up. Ready? You do it. Then turn the video back on. That's H. H is a skyline letter. You pull down to the grass line, trace back up just to the plain line and around. Ha. Ah. Ah. That's short O sound. It starts on the plain line, curves to the grass line, and right back up. Ha. Uh, p. P. That's P. P is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line and pulls all the way to the worm line. Then you trace all the way back up 
can go around and it sits on that grass line. Puh, ah, puh, hop. Nicely done. I knew you could do it. That's it for today, okay? I'm not going to give you a paper to work on. If you did this, that's great. And if you say to your mom and dad, tell me some words with short vowel sounds. Just three letters. See if you can do it with some of those. You could do cot. You could do um, kit. You could do cat. You can do those words. Practice a little. See you later, boys and girls.